Hey guys, it's Michael Todd, and you can barely see me, huh? Hey guys, it's Michael Todd, and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. You guys, we are at Roller Mills. You all know this place. It is one of my favorites. Um, I'm excited to be here because... It's almost Christmas time. There's only 40 days left. That means if you have a booth at an antique mall, put out your Christmas. <laughs> I mean, but I'm serious though. You know what I'm saying? I'll, like put it out now, last week, the first of November. Now, what always excites me whenever I go to an antique mall, especially around Christmas time, is this. They have set up the exterior with their Christmas decorations. It's always a promising sign. Um, Roller Mills really gets into the holiday spirit, especially with their vendors. I just don't know if I'm too early yet or not. We're about to find out. It's November 12th, so I'm saying I don't think it's too early. It should, it's not too early. Let's do this. Here's hoping. Oh. Alrighty guys, we are going to try something new today. I am going to be doing a voiceover, but leaving as much as the ambient sound um, as possible when I was shopping. There are going to be a few spots where I am, you only are going to hear the voiceover because there are certain noises that it just wouldn't lend itself well to the voiceover. But anyhow, first up, first vendor we are seeing, there's Christmas. There is promise here, folks. There is promise. And I did see this cute little Pinocchio, and I couldn't help but want to capture him on film. Um, he wasn't Christmas, so I didn't get him. However, I did see this giant Santa on his sleigh. He only has one deer. Obviously, he is a blow mold, and he is priced at $4.99. And then I see this great vintage tree stand with the lights. Nothing says safety like lights, electricity, and a little bit of water mixed in. I mean, why not? What could possibly go wrong there? Now I do see this cute little pink elf here. He's absolutely adorable and I picked him up and no, oh, he was broken. That's the kind of damage, unfortunately, that to me doesn't really lend a whole lot to the aesthetic value. So we're kind of checking out a few other things, but didn't see anything. However, in the glass cabinet, you guys, these are in fact, yes, they're mercury beads, but those are Victorian ones. Here you have the 50s mercury beads. Again, you've got that Victorian tinsel. We've got some great shiny brights still in their packaging. There's a lot of really great stuff that we are gonna see throughout this video, you guys. Look at the reflectors still in their packaging. So amazing to see. And one of my favorite things are little pine cone elves. Now I do have quite the village of these guys. And at $15, none of them were unique enough from what I do have to want to pick up. Another thing that I do really enjoy are these small uh, Christmas corsages. He just really, I, I wasn't feeling him that much. Got a little paper mache Santa there. Now I might show some uranium glass because it is green. You know, we can find green and red glass and clear, and it'll still go wonderfully with your Christmas decorations. Now, this vendor here, uh, she usually, or they, I don't know the gender, they they have some great items. Um, so I did want to, we're really up close and personal today. Um, you'll see that throughout the video. I'm trying to give a better perspective. Um, so that way people, you guys get a better, a, a better, a better view of the items. And it's not just like this precursory kind of glance at things. I really want you guys to feel like you were there with me. Um, so I hope throughout the video, you, you get a much more detailed view of things. And speaking of a detailed view, what? Not just one, not two, but three aluminum trees. And you guys, there is the color wheel that is fully functional. The wheel itself is priced at 150, which <laughs> is a deal. And there happens to be 20% off this vendor's booth. Like I said a little bit ago, I wanted to give you guys some up close and personal shots. I love the really close viewed in. The large pom pom tree here was only $400 and it said box one. And I thought, well, okay, sure. Here we see two small, there you see the sale sign. Um, you're seeing two of the smaller trees. Um, this one was priced at $250. 
And the next one here, again, we've got a smaller pom-pom tree. The smaller pom-pom tree was priced at $325. And again, box one, box two, box three. I didn't quite get it, but you know, hey, I don't know. And then I turned and I was like, oh, that's because they have their boxes. That's right. Now they're in a little bit rough shape, obviously, but the fact that they are there, that they are present and that you do get those with your purchase, amazing. Now we do see some of the crocheted and ceramic trees here. That one is interesting. I'm not sure how I really feel about that. I mean, hey, to each their own. I'm sure there is somebody out there loving it right now. And I say more power to you here. I am seeing this is one of my favorite um, ceramic Christmas tree molds. This is the Atlantic mold. Obviously, they have it marked as Penn State colors with the blue and the white bulbs on it. And I did want to pick it up and I don't know why, but I always like to see who painted them um, for some odd reason. Again, there is your Atlantic mold and this was painted by ROG, ROG. Hey ROG, you did a great job. And then I saw the little sign, do not touch, ask for assistance. And I was like, oh, sorry, didn't see that. Didn't, I didn't see it. Oops. <laughs> Thankfully, nothing broke. Now here, this vendor, and you're going to see here in just a second, they always have a beautiful uranium glass collection. Um, now I'm seeing some three wise men here. Those were plastic, but again, still super kitschy, or as we like to say, what is it? What's the word? Oh, the Christastic. No, not Christastic. Kitschmas. It's, it's kitschmasy. <laughs> oh God, Michael. Get yourself together. Hey, it's Christmas. You you know. Now we do see this Noel set. These are angels. They are, are in like a staggered size here. They were priced $60. Again, new in packaging. Well, not new in packaging. I guess they were used. And you're going to see that there's some substantial crackling to that red cold paint there, especially on the large one. I mean, it was flaking off. Um, I probably would have picked it up at the $60 had it been in better condition. And I did find a little seaweed here. This is a baby seaweed. Um, it's an icy gal in case any of you want to know. I do have a collection of seaweeds. Yes, I do. I, I'm admitting it. Here we have some great spaghetti Santas. I loved the cream one. I really wanted to get it, but at $60, I couldn't warrant getting it. Now at the top shelf here though, I do see this ceramic reindeer, absolutely adorable. Now it is repaired. You can see there, there is some glue. It was priced accordingly at just $10. And you know what? There was no way I was going to leave this behind. Repair and all, I do believe that there is still money on that. You know, it's something that I would start paying at 10. I would start him at 15 and hope somebody will still treasure him and see past the damage. Now, I do love these little Christmas candy cones here with the little velvet, little bottle brush trees on that one. We've got some knee hugger elves hanging on the walls. Just, it was, I just love Christmas, you guys. And there you're seeing that beautiful uranium glass. And of course, there is some jadeite. And look, some of them even have red detail, detailing to them. This particular fl flower frog, I have actually picked this up before and sold one. Mine was a little bit darker, truth be told, but I did decide to go ahead and leave this one behind. And then I was like, oh, maybe I want to check out those angels again. And yeah, here is that detailed shot. Again, that cold paint is just, you know, if you breathed on it, it's going to fall off. So yeah, sad, but true. I left it behind. Now the same vendor does have some other little Ross Bro candy containers here. A lot of the Santas, the skiing Santas. We've got the little roly poly Santa. There is a treasure craft pixie right there. He's super cute. I do see this blue velvet cone angel. I love her. The blue and silver is not very common. She's obviously got her little eyes closed. She's in overall pretty good condition. And at $5, there was no way I was going to leave her behind. Here we're seeing a large blow mold nativity set. It seems that everybody, including Jesus, is present. Um, and I wanted to check out the price. The price is $325. 
but you are getting 11 pieces, which is, I think, a really good deal. There's the white ceramic Christmas tree with the gold accents. We've got the little choir girl. Back here, again, we have a very large Atlantic mold Christmas tree. I wanted to see how much this one was. For some reason, I was just really on the hunt for a ceramic Christmas tree, but the prices were kind of putting me off. This one was priced at $150. So, alas, I did leave that one behind. I'm not too big on the white snow. I know some people really like it. I think it can be done really well, um, but that one really wasn't speaking to me. Here, of course, we've got two large Nutcracker blow molds. These are absolutely adorable. They are in fantastic condition. Again, a few more little kitschy or kitschmiss. We got our, our word straight. Our kitschmiss Santa planters. This one's face was absolutely adorable, but I did not like that like DIY spaghetti sugaring to him. It was a little that glue was too like ugh. there was there's no getting that off either unless you painted over it. Little choir boys, they were actually um conjoined there at the bottom and it was just it just held one candle. Of course, we've got some more knee huggers down here. I'm not the, like, I don't go wild for the knee huggers unless they have like a really unique or a super kitschy face to them. I did decide to go ahead and show the red glass cardinal. This would go great in a Christmas display. Um, you know, cardinals in the winter, they're very popular. Here, I'm absolutely loving these candles with the gold foil leaves on the bottom. This set was priced at $29. A lot of times you find it and the netting has got a lot of snags or tears in it, but this one looked to be in really good condition. Um, I kind of regret not getting it. I'm just not overly familiar with these pieces and how much they really go for. We got Santa there. He's had a long, long night. He needs a nap. I feel you, Santa. And we do see, ooh, look at, it's a whole Howard Cone Angel. She is the feathered one, $28. We got Super Grumpy Santa there. We got the Winking Santa mug, of course. And I tried to get him to wink here in a little bit. Some Mercury Glass. Little package toppers here. Look at that darling little angel. Again, we've got some more mercury glass garland here. Some great shiny brights again in the packaging. And here is my sad attempt at trying to get this lenticulated eye to wink for us. It kind of works, not so much. He was priced at 18. There's that close up of super grumpy Santa. And then I turned around and I thought, oh, what do you see all the santas do you see that three candle holder back there oh my gosh it's a whole howard all right guys we're gonna go to the live audio um here for a little bit Okay, I'm going to take that. Okie dokie. And... Okay, I'm good there. Okay, I'm going to take her. Okay. Yes, I'll take her. Right. And then I actually just saw this. Do you mind if I get... Or can you... the cherubs there um actually god i'm afraid to know but one seventy five hmm Pink Santa. He's a really good condition though. 
Oh my god, I can't believe I'm about to do this. Is there a way to contact the vendor to see if they could do better? I just need to see the car. Holy moly, and then I spot more. These are German mercury glass deer. This one here is an antelope. Do you see how fine and delicate those horns? Do you see the little beard at the bottom? Look at the, he's up, oh my gosh, you guys. These are absolutely amazing. Um, do you see how dainty and delicate, do you see him bucked up on his front paws? Do you see that little clear stand? That is it. That is how delicate these items are. I think these are absolutely beautiful. They are unique. They would make any Christmas display very high end. And here we are seeing a box of 12 ornaments, another box of 12 ornaments. These are priced very fairly. Look at the condition of that mica glitter on those. It's just absolutely amazing. Oh, oh no, I just saw mercury glass candles. No, not candles, candy sticks. Oh, Michael, you missed them. We're going back. Now, I got super excited because, yes, that Art Deco figurine was pretty amazing. And then I saw this giant two foot tall Atlantic mold ceramic Christmas tree. Now it doesn't have any lights and I'm not really, I'm like, uh, I'm undecided onto the bottom, but I can deal with that white on the base. And I'm like, this thing is amazing. Is this really part of the sale? It's $80. Can this be, can this really truly be? And then I got distracted by another one of these safety hazards. This one's $40. Tell, does that thing look safe? No, it doesn't look safe. What are y'all doing? You're pouring water into like your, uh, I, no, I just can't get around it. Here you got a little blow mold Santa hair. And then up top, I was seeing this, oh, look, more shiny rights. I saw this cute little Napco. He is a little nightlight. It's like the um, the night before Christmas story. You know, this mouse was up. He was stirring. He was being naughty. He was trying to catch Santa. Shameful. $14 wasn't that bad. Now here we do see this musical angel. It's a very Pose doll-esque. Um, She's not a Pose doll. Um, I, it was really interesting. She's priced at $42. She is in overall really good condition. Now she does have, um, her hands are plastic or like a soft vinyl, I'm assuming. And they have kind of discolored a little bit, but you know, nothing that you couldn't live, live through. Again, we're trying to do those detail shots of all of the Christmas goodies. Oh, here we've got some more of the Victorian ornaments. I just absolutely love these. The fact that they have survived for nearly 200, 200, 18, 19, yeah. Well, I don't know that they're 1800s, but late 1800s. They're over 100 years old, probably pushing 130, 140 years old. And the fact that they've survived that long is just astounding to me. Now I do see these, I'm assuming are made in Japan pieces. Um, these little like door jingle bells that you could hang on like your doorknobs. I like the large one, the smaller one, like the bells appeared to be plastic. And even on the larger one, the clackers, as I got closer to the one on the bottom, it appeared to be plastic. So I really wasn't feeling that. Now here we've got some pink bottle brush trees and then I spot them. These are the Christ, I'm calling them the Holly Kids, but um, they are anthropomorphic little salt and pepper shakers. I actually have a set of these. These were priced at $55, which is a steal for a collector. These things rarely come up. I can't believe I didn't get that winking Santa dish with the green rhinestone eye. I'm disappointed in myself, disappointed in my tacky little heart. Here we're seeing the little girl, the pickle, the vintage Heinz two-sided advertising. This would be cute hanging in a tree. Look at all of the little figurines, the small little ornaments in the boxes yet. We've got some spun head here, package toppers. Just all the goods. And then I was like, oh, look at this, a Lucite purse. It's red. <laughs> I figured it counted. Now we are spotting some blow mold angels here she's singing to god she's praising his high holiness 
She's a very cute piece. I mean, her condition is excellent. She's priced at $48. Again, I think that's very fair for a collector. I've never seen her before. Here we've got the Empire. Um, I almost said snowman. Santa. Unfortunately, his paint is really cracking on him. I've actually never seen that occur on another Empire. So that was interesting. I actually just sold these a set of these Noel candles. These ones were priced at 40. Here we've got again some more Empire molds. These are angels. However, their eyes are actually stickers. Never saw that happen before. Um, they're at $40 each. I'm not really sure. Again, the sticker eyes make me really nervous. Those would definitely be something that you would need to keep indoors. Oh, the mouth also. Can you see it there? Kind of looks like she was drinking some chocolate milk. That was also a sticker. Here we've got a Hummel nativity set. This is a seven piece set. It is priced at $175. It is beautiful. I'm not sure how I feel about Mary being a blonde though. That was an interesting take there, Hummel. Alrighty guys, we're going back to live audio here. You know what, I'm gonna go for it. Sure am. Alrighty guys, we are in another part of the mall. Um, this vendor always has some really interesting things. So I do like checking them out. They're kind of tucked back here in a corner. So I don't think a lot of people get to see them. Um, what I was seeing were these, you know, a lot of people would have the satin balls and they would sell them as craft kits and they would put, you know, the beads in them and the ribbons. And then I was looking at these and I was like, I, mm, there's something about these that seems a little different. And then it turns out these were actually manufactured. So it kind of was like they were capitalizing on the whole hobbyist craze. However, these ones were made in Japan and they each had their sticker. They essentially were a dollar each. The individual ones were priced at a dollar. The two packs were priced at $2. So we did decide to go ahead and get all of these. I thought that they were wonderfully done. The colors were great. Now I did leave this one behind. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, I think that I got distracted or maybe it was because I already had one of the red and green. I don't know. I'm a little disappointed in myself, but Roller Mills is only 15 minutes for me. So no problem. Now here we are seeing some Jewel Bright-esque. I was looking for the Jewel Bright star somewhere on them, typically on the back. Unfortunately, I did not find one. Now that doesn't I, I I don't know. I think that all Jewel Brights do have the star on them. I could be wrong and I could have put back some Jewel Brights, but I didn't see the mark. So I did decide to go ahead and leave these ones behind. However, I did in fact some actual Jewel Brights. I love these. They're super kitschy. And there is the star that you look for on the back. That is definitely your Jewel Bright marking there. So we did pick those up. That bag of three was only $3. What? Oh, heck yeah. That was a, that was a good score. Now here we are seeing um, like some Polish, some German ornament. I love the thumbprints. Um, I typically don't buy them individually. If there's a good enough lot, I will buy them. And if they're cheap enough, I will buy them. Um, but individually, I have a tendency not to. Now up top, we have what I often refer to as Drunk Santa. Um, he was a music box, and I apparently did not get that in frame at all, did I, Michael? No, you didn't. Uh, however, I did get the Blow Mold Santa here. He is super cute. And he is priced at $40, so I do decide to go ahead and leave him behind. However, here in the back, this is a Union Union Plastic mold. Um, it's a harder acrylic here, and I do tap on it so you can kind of hear the difference in it. He is priced at $36. I recently just saw one at the barn um, in Benton. He had a lot of damage on him. This one was in pristine condition. I just didn't want to pay the price for him for resale. Again, I think if I were to keep him, that would be an excellent deal. Well, guys, we are about to wrap it up. And I just wanted to give you a quick glance at my favorite picks. I cannot believe this. You guys, I'm going to catch you outside. 
Roller Mills, Merry Christmas to you too. What? Oh my God. Um, I have a giant ceramic Christmas tree. You guys, <laughs> the giant ceramic Christmas tree. Yes, there's no lights. I can get some lights for like $3 on Amazon. I found a pink Russian Santa. Holt Howard, what is going on? There it is, nondescript, right? You're thinking, ooh, judge that book by its cover. Keep on driving by. There ain't nothing exciting there. Wrong. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video as much as I did. It was an amazing experience once again at Roller Mills in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. <laughs> what? Um, so until next time, guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.